love to have the other half? Probably. This is a safe space to be who you are. Can I park? Should I have the other pictures? <laughs> no, no one wants to see a five-year-old's drawings. Why not? Because no one cares about five-year-old children. Mascot. Huh? Mascot. Yeah. Just for a moment. <laughs> yep. See? And I just said I should bring I, my five-year-old nieces. She paints things for me. And she said, who cares about a five-year-old pen? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We got SoCo Arts Lab in Fall River, Massachusetts, now hosting NFG Podcast Lives. So you're going to want to check uh, all of our different pages, apps out, content is going to be coming on a daily basis. All different, all new, new guests, new places, new faces. You're going to be strange, a little weird, maybe a little weirded out. But that's what we do here is talk about anything and everything that we possibly can come up with. And I wear strange stuff. In fact, I'm feeling a little strange right now. You guys still feel the holidays in this room? Jeez, oh, hold on. Uh, it's not it. You guys want this? It's like, there you go, lucky win. All right, so we've got a couple of giveaways. It's already starting to have this show, and uh, unfortunately we have a, a weird weather situation today. And uh, trying to hook our fans up. Luckily, the three here that are here are going to be getting some real nice stuff. Let's make it clear, as in get these clouds out of here, Petrarca. I'm sick of all of this. Anyway, uh, we got snowstorms coming up that are going to be helpful for photography. We've got a couple of fans here of my personal photography. And we got a couple little giggly jokes here. Really like you to enjoy. If you don't, it's okay. There's no fucks to give. And FG Podcast Jay the Usual. So, while we got everybody here sitting down and forced to listen to everything that I'm saying, let's uh, let's share our new developments and some new information about this new place that we're, sh we're sharing together. The same air, the same breathing space. Someone already asked me as they entered the room if it was okay to fart. I won't say who. Anyway. It's, uh, <laughs> so we have, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> so we have, uh, jtheusual.multimedia, uh, sorry, jtheusualmultimedia.myportfolio.com, what a mouthful. You can check that out to see all of our photography, videography, new episodes of the podcast, and, uh, we also have a site on every single one of the apps that you could possibly like except for Vimeo and uh, Rumble. Rumble is a free speech app, but uh, we speak freely anyway. It's, it's so surprising what you can do without an app. And then we also post it on 10 different apps and we got nobody here today. So it's also pretty amazing how useless it can be. But that makes us have more fun because now I get to sit here rip off a bunch of crazy shit and nobody's going to maybe physically hurt me, which may happen depending on who the hell you invite to these crazy things. She might hurt me, but we'll talk about that later. That's actually cooking with Mama Dukes. You're going to want to check that page out. Am I on that camera? You're on this camera. I also have a camera that's implanted in my eyes and in my chest. I'm recording at all times. Uh, we like to let people know right from the beginning of the show that they may or may not be recorded either by our cameras or by one of the guests' cameras, because we actually freely allow the guests to record anything that they see here, so that way they can not only share in the experience and fun with everybody that doesn't get to come, and eventually will, but for those that can't necessarily visit, whether it be for weather or accessibility reasons or anything like that, although we are wheelchair accessible here, and this is a safe place. Something that the one of the directors that works here, um, that runs the place rather, has uh, looked into and tried, I, I, I guess, and great reviews so far. But there's a lot of different things uh, that are available to look at. As you can see, there's some photography from Dana Bibble. He's actually running some photography courses. We got some paintings. Uh, Paint with Senro was actually an artist event that they had last night. And some of those uh, paintings are in the back. You'll probably see some photographs of that posted 
a little later on in the week. We have another show on Saturday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, that, that event time and details will be posted. It'll probably be a SoCo Arts Lab, and um, I believe we'll be also working in New Bedford pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Hi. So uh, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Threads, X, Meta, Patreon.com, and LinkedIn, and also the SoCo Arts websites. Uh, you can check out SoCo Arts Labs. Cooking with Mama Dukes, you're definitely going to want to uh, take a look at soon because we're doing some prime rib roasts that we shot together. I try to produce the show. She tries to cook. Sometimes either one of us fail. You never know. That's why you want to watch. Uh, she never fails. It's, uh, it's always something interesting to see it happen in the kitchen. I, I also recently have been enjoying watching a lot of pilgrims cook on YouTube. I'm not sure what my obsession is with that. But I, I get like a, like a, a real strange feeling every time that I see them like making something with bread, butter, and potatoes, but it's like the 300th meal. And I'm like, how many times are you going to have the same exact stuff mixed and still make a different meal? How the hell can you do it? Like, all routine. She said Townsend. Ooh. Townsend. Hashtag Townsend. And uh, if we ever do get to work with Pilgrim Plantation or maybe something in Plymouth, that would definitely be interesting. But uh, make sure to check out any one of those pages, or if you're already on them, uh, apps, whatever you want to call them. Uh, at this point, they, they may be a waste of time up until we actually get more people into this place. But we're still having fun. Uh, the Turk Twerps podcast is going to have a resurgence, and that's something we'll be talking with the local dispensaries about in the Massachusetts area, Bristol County at first. So anybody's got any information or questions about that, let us know, whether you're a medical patient, regular patient, uh, maybe you're a patient of a psych ward, you just escaped, and you're like, where can I get a joint? You can message us in the comments below. And don't smoke in public. Anyway. Uh, we also have a few podcasts that we've already shot in this lab uh, with a few of the local artists, the director, and I believe we were here for a Christmas slash holiday special so we can be very inclusive. There were dreidels spinning. You never know what you're going to find here. My sister just found a mermaid boot. You never know. It didn't have scales though, which really threw me off. But I, 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 I've been working so hard, I didn't even understand or know like, how weddings and stuff work, like how people, when they get married, how do names like that work? Because I'd met both of the directors that work here, but I was questioning as, as to, like, do they both have the same last name? Because I haven't had time to really, like, ask and keep up. So when I finally asked today, I was like, listen, listen, uh, Jen, it's, uh, Jen and Nelson, we actually interviewed Nelson, but not Jen yet. I will get her on the show, hopefully. But, uh, I asked her, I said, oh, is your last name Rigo as well? Because the business they own is called Three Rigos. So There's three different Rigos that are working. So I'm like, oh, maybe. And uh, she said yes, but, you know, it got me thinking. It's like, well, what are some of the stranger names that I know? Uh, you know, stranger things, stranger names. Uh, what are we doing here? I'm trying to do a play on words, hashtag stranger things, and then hopefully they accidentally watch me. Don't do it on TikTok, because then I'm going to get banned. And also don't say the word poop or butt. But, uh, I, you know, there's a gold medalist a skier. Her name is Fanny Schmeller. I don't know if you've ever met or heard of her. No? Well, uh, th there's actually a rumor that she's going to be getting married to a, uh, an accountant uh, that works in uh, New York and all that uh, stock trade. It's named by, uh, by Rich Stroker, which is, you know, that's short for Dick Stroker. So if, <laughs> if you've got Fanny Schmeller and Dick Stroker... <laughs> You've got Fanny Schmeller and you've got Dick Stroker getting married. Who's going to take whose last name? Because now you've got Fanny Stroker, which that's not much nicer, and uh, Dick Schmeller, which, uh, what the hell is he going to have a sex for? Are you washing it? I really hope you are. But these are the questions that we try to ask on this podcast because other people are afraid to. No fucks given. Anyway, so... Uh, J the Usual Multimedia offers a lot of services. We take pictures, we do photographs, usually not in the bushes and with permission. And uh, what I also like to do is edit myself when I can, when Adobe isn't having its AI panic attack for the 30th time today, going, I, I cannot let you succeed. Uh, we also do a bunch of podcasts and events such as this, hopefully with a larger crowd next time. And we'll get those uh, different artists that work here, but also a bunch of other ones in businesses as well that work in the city with quality services that are going to be tested, tried, people that will be interviewed, and then you'll be able to even come in and sometimes try some stuff like food or see a new service. Uh, the ear candling is a prime example. Um, and of course, you know, the fans can keep this in mind as well, the people that showed up, my fans and grams and, and mom and her jams that come from Serbia. Uh, 
We have uh, an ability to produce shows, whether it be uh, podcasts, commercials, uh, short photo shoots that you can use to share on any of your multimedia. And uh, we, like to, we like to connect as many businesses as possible to different events that we're going to be doing. Uh, like I said, this is going to be all of Bristol County for the entire year. Uh, I also have an interest in working with fundraisers, and actually there's been, there's been some people that have had some great successes out of this uh, building, and I believe their own practices as well, uh, selling uh, paintings as, as high priced as $5,000, and then donating that to hospitals that uh, take care of kids with cancer. So I thought that was really intriguing, and I really like to get involved with stuff like that. There's some conservancy uh, programs that are in uh, Westport, Massachusetts. There are pregnant ladies that need hands to rub their tummies. I don't know if we have a service to pay for that. I prefer not. Or the ones that could actually like put your like like take your shirt after it rolls up over your stomach when you're just like trying to relax for a little bit. And you're like, oh, my feet are swollen, and then they roll the shirt back down for you, and they go, it's okay. And they rub your feet a little. Bit. Oh, and feel free to ask questions since we have such a small audience today. She says I'm on camera. I said that my fucking is my brother. I, 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 I can edit that out, but I can also Why? slow it down, zoom on it, and edit that in. It's not like I'm rubbing Ooh, my ass. You can have <laughs> Lexi go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually. He's uh, kicking. He wants to be involved. We have Geraldine Hansen, my grandmother, my, my beautiful, lovely grandmother. Just use her full government. I have to, because it's the greatest name ever written and integrated. <laughs> But it's the greatest no, name. her whole name is is better, Geraldine Josephine. That's not her whole name. She's right. It's Geraldine Gigglemesh. Well, now we're all learning that cooking with Mama Dukes, my mom doesn't know her own mom's name. Yes, this sir. is great. I thought your middle name was Josephine. No, that's her why do they call you Geraldine Josephine? That's her mother's name. It was just yes. a nickname. Dad used to call me that. <laughs> so that's a made-up name. And all the time, all this time, I thought that was your real name. No. Yeah. That was Pa's girlfriend's name. You couldn't get it right. I used to call myself Jay the Usual and do a podcast, but after this, I don't know. <laughs> Jay the Unusual? <laughs> oh, I can hear myself a little bit now. No, I can't. Anyway. Uh, we, oh, I'm also a model. Actor. Don't even make me. I get that from both of my parents, and my sister takes after them too, so make sure to watch no. her tummy rubbing. I don't take after either one of those horses. What? Drama uh, queen. We're going to be running some photography classes. The first one's actually going to be October 24th for my courses. Dana Bibbled has his own, and he's actually been in the game a little bit longer styles, a little bit different, and the type of courses he's going to be teaching are different. But we're also going to be trying to co-op some courses to help teach people to do uh, things like phone photography, basic editing on apps, uh, things that involve the younger generations, as well as anybody, any <coughs> that wants to learn how to use a camera. So, uh, we also have uh, voice acting, public speaking, live shows uh, every single week, different locations going to be every single week, um, at least until we run out of you know, time and space, and of course, uh, content on all of our sites every day. Now, uh, the Turk Twerps podcast, I'm looking into trying to sell paraphernalia, uh, which is one of my favorite words because I always thought it had something to do with, like, uh, drugs. There you go. Uh, no. I, I used to think that it had to do with magnolias at first, and I'm like, well, how or why does that make any sense? Flowers. Yeah. Because they look like bases, some of these bombs, for one, and magnolia, paraphernalia. But then when I started hearing cops saying it, I'm like, well, what the hell are they going to be mad about flower for? But then I thought they were they were finding yayo and thinking that it was flour, and they're like, "Oh, the bus has failed." But then, of course, you got these dogs that want to eat some of these cookies, and it's like, "Well, do they use that stuff?" And I'm not really sure. I question myself every day about my sanity and what I'm thinking about. Like, I right love now, steel magnolias. What? Steel magnolias. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Uh, this isn't that with uh, Tom Cruise? No, it's about old women doing old teeth things. Oh yeah, no, I haven't seen that. It sounds terrible. Uh, I think Julia Roberts had like a stroke. It's definitely terrible then. Except for the new movie that they were in. Uh, I say they because she has two first names. And you also got Ethan Hawke, who was another person Mom hates, I believe. Because he looks like Kevin Bacon. Is that what it is? No, that's me. I hate Kevin Bacon because he looks like a pig. I hate Kevin Bacon too. Thank God. Okay. Do you like Kevin Bacon? Who? Kevin Bacon? <laughs> who? Bacon. Well, that should be the title of the episode. That's the hashtag. <laughs>
this, this new yeah, movie, this new movie that was made with Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke was actually funded and created. Uh, I don't know if it was directed or written, but uh, by the Obamas. I'll explain that one to me. I don't really know. Oh yeah, and it's about World War Three. How freaking odd! Uh, somebody can. Uh, was bad acting. I love Obama. He wears dad jeans and golfs. That'll work for now. You're welcome. You know, I think he's actually Tiger Woods' real dad. I think I'm the real star of this episode. And his real mom. Well, you keep doing that, you're gonna become it. <laughs> I think the general public would like to see this pregnant woman. I think the general public wants to hear that not only is uh, COVID making people deaf now, possibly, which, you know, I can't really tell either or because I went and got tested. They told me I had nothing wrong with me. Then I went half deaf, and then they told me there was something wrong with they don't know what. I, I just had COVID. Out. Excuse me? I just had COVID. Congratulations! It's a boy. You finally gave she birth. She's so deaf. Okay. She's tone deaf. So it's probably not well, COVID. It's some, kind of, it's some kind of. It's some See, kind of. On that no, line. it's some kind of. Some kind of flu that's going around. Yeah, that's what they say, but they're not saying anything about it. Flu type B. If you look in the news, you know what you're hearing about it. A lot of people are sick nowadays. You know what it might be from some of this this weird pine pollen that's going around near Canada. <laughs> Back to you, Tom. Well, a Pfizer commercial. Anyway. It's because people keep coughing in each other's mouths. You should see the people that I have to deal with at work. This is actually going to be a discussion on the next show uh, where I'm starting to wonder if maybe the new thing in Stop and Shop, besides robots walking around with googly eyes and going, did you steal shit? It's actually going to be real humans you know the thing almost spitting ran me over? in your mouth. That thing almost ran me over and I was like, excuse me, I'm pregnant. And then it literally said, sorry. And I was like, okay. You imagine that. It's never sorry. COVID spreads because of the people that I have to deal with at work. Guy went to the bathroom, didn't even wash his hands or close the door. I guess he wanted me to watch. Where do you work at? A place where you gotta tell the future and you rub a crystal ball like that? I unfortunately can't discuss the matters of my business <laughs> through the policy. So today we're, we, we're going to make a huge presentation about a story that a lot of people are afraid to hear. They have heard it. They believe it's a myth. Um, no one's really sure if this magical creature that I've actually, uh, I didn't film it yet, but it's only a matter of time before I do. Uh, I'm actually still somewhat scared myself, but Scroll the Troll is... <laughs> no way! <laughs> That's all I have to do is say the name and you can see the reaction, so definitely uh, check out the next show that we're going to be doing on Saturday, the uh, 20th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. live. We'll, we'll be pre-recording these shows, but because... We don't have enough people at the moment. Uh, it's going to take roughly a couple of days to maybe a week per episode to share. Uh, but you'll definitely be part of the fun. The tickets are free for this particular episode and maybe the next one. But after that, the ticket prices will rise by about a dollar to five dollars, depending on how much the, uh, how much is actually going on in the events. We're actually going to be uh, we'll be having food, different drinks from different businesses uh, in order to spotlight them. Uh, we're looking into the licensing for all that. And we'll be going to the actual locations as well. One of my favorites that I haven't been to yet, but I really want to try the food, and I'm wondering if anybody else here has had this yet, is uh, the bearded uh, chicken. Uh, I, I tried it. It's this new place in Somerset. It looks delicious. Uh, their social media page is really awesome, so whoever does their photography is pretty damn good. We know we have a cousin in our family that went and shared a couple pictures. Um, like I said, I haven't been yet, but I tried to find it. I, I, you know, and I'm looking to ask these people about certain things, and I end up in this place called the Bearded Clam, and I'm like, this can't be right. <laughs> there's a bunch of people with, with big, long rubber boots on. The titties are out, and they're asking me, have you seen Long John Silver, big boy? And I'm like, this cannot be the Bearded Chicken. But I was. Uh, it's, it's the bearded clam. It's the bearded clam, so you're gonna want to watch out for that location in New Bedford, Massachusetts, uh, along with a few other locations. Because as a photographer, I go out to different beaches. For instance, Fort Tabor was closed the other day. A lot of waves running over it. I wish I could have made it, but there's a big problem. And you would think it's the weather. Oh, I'm uh, you know I'm terrified of destroying my thousand dollars in bullshit gear, whatever the hell I'm using. You know my fine linens. No, I'll tell you what it is. There's no damn bathrooms. I can't poop. I can't pee. I'm saying it like that because if otherwise I can't share it to TikTok. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? TikTok, TikTok, I'm running out of time. There's what water. is the problem with the bathrooms? You tell me. Go to the bathroom in the water. 
I had to a few times. I had to literally float around in there with my Sony, like tied to my neck, and I'm sitting here recording myself. Why is this happening to Don't me? Don't give me that look you used to tell us as kids go to the bathroom in the water. There's literally no place to stop. And any place that you can stop that's like a business nearby, they add, oh, well, are you going to buy something? And it's like, I'm going to jump over this desk and double drop kick you. You're going to be pulling pee on the floor. Are you kidding me? And I was wondering why, too. I was sitting there judging Fall River Raw. Some group on Facebook was sharing a picture of a, of a man leaning up against a trash barrel, broad daylight, next to Ciabra and Dunkin' Donuts in New Bedford. And you can search this, and he's taking a, a, a sweet shit. And, of course, there's a bunch of people taking pictures and looking. Instead of being like, well, how the hell did this even happen in the first place? I'll tell you, no porta potties so somebody's got to make an investment, and I'm here to help. I wouldn't want to use a bathroom and see all the foods. I might catch the hep. You might catch that anywhere, but if you can't poop and pee except for on the ground, we're going to go right back to medieval times, the Black Plague. Do we want this? No, thank you. COVID's enough. So, uh, that being said, uh, I, you know, I, I end up in a bunch of different places to do photography, and, of course, uh, cannabis helps me to get out of the house when I have problems like, Maybe a small ulcer from ulcerative colitis, stressing out from doing a show with an empty room. You never know exactly what it could be. But <laughs> empty. What are you, ghosts? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, got four people well. right there. The I have a good support well, group, but unfortunately, right we need we need people that we don't know. I mean, it's nice to, to have a nice. Well, what was just hailing? Huh? What was just hailing? Uncle Bill's with like four people right now. I invited all them, and of course, they, oh, it's football, and I was like, oh, shit. So it's kind of my fault a little bit. I wasn't aware that that was going on at the same time. That's why we have Super different Bowl shows at different times Sunday. over the next couple of weeks so that way we can have it uh, figured out as to what days people will actually show up to what types of events. That'll probably go on for maybe about another month or two before we have an, a nice steady schedule at the same days, same times, and everybody can come in and become regulars or whatever. Uh, Should have invited Paul Coogan. I, I did. I, I actually I walked up to him and gave him a, not a real kiss, but like from a distance. I went, I went, do I know you? And I said, yeah, you do. You do. So, Paul Coogan. I'm actually running for mayor. See, that's all you have to say, and then he'll show up and give some kind of bullshit speech. I just want a soup with this picture on it. I noticed that there was a lot of... Uh, Oh, that's pretty cool. Some, some said that. Well, that actually leads to our, uh, our talk about that photography course that I was talking about. Because you can see a lot of the work that we have here already and some of the courses that, uh, like I said, some of the photographers that work here. Uh, but we're open to uh, interview a bunch of other people. Uh, there's plenty of space and time available, so if there's any interest, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, share, like, and comment. The more we grow, the more we show, the more you view, the more we do. Uh, we also, while we were talking about pig noses and Kevin Bacon and Ethan Hawke, <laughs> <laughs> my mom's fear of uh, little people really came to a head the other night when uh, they started playing the curious case of Natalia Grace. And if you haven't heard about this when it, when it first popped four years ago, you're definitely going to want to see it now because you not only got a picture of somebody like this, Literally, these monsters, whoever the hell they are, which you couldn't draw cartoon characters better than this. Well, the dad of this person that they adopted from Ukraine is literally trying to fight the floor physically in like a way. Like We have a martial arts place called Kingdom Martial Arts in this building you can check out, but I'm pretty sure that you're never going to learn anything like what this guy was doing. He was throwing elbows at the rug. He's like, oh, geez, I, I, I got to show you what, what my wife did to this little person that we adopted. And of course... Come to find out, never really. Uh, the things that they were saying about this person as to why they were tossing her around like a teddy bear, like having a, a one, her around. having her a one person pillow fight, and my mom's going, ah, ah, don't show me this. And I'm like, what? I know it's terrible that they're doing this to this child. And she goes, no, they should hit it harder. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. But the only reason that it was because of Kevin Bacon and his awful work and the fact that he's got this pig nose and that she's got the Ukrainian nose and we and no one really knows. It's like, is this really like a true like did this happen? Is she an adult? We don't know. Because why? Two reasons. They made a movie called The Orphan the year before this person came here, and of course this sick family was like, uh, we could beat the hell out of this person. And uh, I keep saying person because I want to say that used to be like what you used to be able to say because little person just sounds freaking dry. Oh, aren't you a little dry? You know, like. It's strange to me, but then again, I'm a gigantic piece of shit. So, 
it could just be that I'm just being, you know, a big, what do they call it, being biggest, right? Or is that a bigot? Does that work the same way? Um, if, you, if you take a spigot, right, and then you start spraying out of a hose, you make a rainbow, is there a leprechaun at the end of it? I don't know, but there might be Natalia Grace if she's getting swung around enough, whoa, right over the <laughs> pot of gold. No, that's wrong, you know. It's wrong that, that people are doing this to each other because it's not just, it's not just, you know, people beating up on, on little people. And, and little people punching people in the crotch, that, that regular size. <laughs> and my mom hating on them all, but with, with her, her fake fear of like, oh my god, they're gonna, 20 of them are gonna swarm me in the night and start touching me with their hands. They, they steal things, they steal things, she's saying. And I'm like, ma, just all you gotta do is record yourself cooking a meatloaf, please. And she's just saying, <laughs> she's like, I bet you they can't even crack the eggs with their tiny hands. And it's like, what the hell are we even talking about here? <laughs> well, why are you making up to me? I'm against more people. You're not against them, you're just afraid of them. And I'm just saying that we have to break that fear. Dr. Phil's not going to help you. Look at what he did for her. Nothing. So all he did was like, listen here, I just don't know if my mustache can, can, can break the truth out of you. If I sweep it over your face, it, it could tell a lie from the truth. And it's like, you're just trying to smell her to see if she smells like asparagus. There's no reason for this. Bye. I'm going to sit she doesn't even know what you're talking about. She hasn't seen it. But, well, she hasn't well, that's seen what I'm saying. Is if you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. And hashtag that with hashtag Jane the Usual Multimedia or NFG Podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to NFG Podcast with Jay the Usual. So, Jay the Usual with NFG Podcast in a hollow and empty room. Hello, hello, hello. It'd be really weird if you got like a different sound back and be like, uh, there's something. Something incredible is always happening, whether it be supernatural or strange or weather that's coming out of nowhere, like this magical blizzard we have chasing us down all over Massachusetts at SoCo. Art Labs was supposed to have this NFG podcast live. And it was supposed to be a little bit more explosive than what I thought, but I'd rather people be safe, so we're going to make sure to share this to as many people as possible so they can have the fun, because, you know, the more we uh, share, the more we care, the more we grow, the more we show, the more you view, the more we do. Woo! How does he remember all this stuff? Wait a minute, I'm cheating. I'm doing what Cannabis the Rapper did in that battle when he embarrassed all of us freestylers. But anyway, I digress. I don't even know what that word means. One day we'll have a whole podcast just on the word digress. So here at Soko Art Labs, we have several different artists, art styles, businesses, a bunch of different packages. And I'm not just talking about what I'll be showing off with this podcast to the live audience. They may be scared. But what I would like to say about what I've been uh, seeing and doing here is there's a lot of potential for a lot of interesting uh, city-wide events, businesses, interest in growth and tourism due to all the different types, styles, and professionalism that I've seen here so far. It's going to be really interesting as we see these numbers grow in this podcast, not just digitally, but also just having more and more people come and enjoy the events. Not, not just for the part that I'm going to play, but so that way everybody here can have a little bit more fun, learn things, and meet different people. And it's, a, it's a growing, evolving creature, let's say, you know? Pet it slow, be quiet, don't tiptoe behind it, you know? Unless you're trying to like, get a, you know, a sample. I don't know how that works anymore, because the crocodile hunter is not around anymore. We, can't, we could resurrect them with AI. We could talk about that, too. I'm going to talk about anything here. This is NFG Podcast with Jade Usual. It means things are unusual, Jay's usually going to be around, and there's no fucks to give, you know? I'm panicking already. Mostly because of the weather. But other than that, you know, I think we'll be alright. Nobody has to sign insurance stuff until they get here. No. I don't think that's happened. You know. You enter at your own risk. Nothing will happen to you physically, you know? You've got all the safety precautions with it. The real question is, are you going to leave with your sanity? I don't know. I can't, get, I can't make that promise. You know? The second we can, I'll, I'll let you know. So many services, so many different things we're going to be doing. It's, it's, a little, it's a little overwhelming. Sometimes I, I cry in the middle of the night and I sit there and I think to myself, I'm like, what in the hell am I doing? Crying in a, in a, in a room by myself. I can't talk out all of these issues with my fans because I'm not, as, you know, all the shadow banning and... And an old man that, that dresses in a, in a tuxedo that for some reason everyone thinks he runs the world, but you can't, you can't have a speech more than two, two minutes long. I, I, I get a panic, a little panic in my chest, and I start 
thinking to myself, am I truly alone? And then, of course, my guinea pig starts speaking to me in perfect English. And I go, Father, please, please, sir, don't fret. Of course, in just a few months or years or whatever, I'm not sure because I've blacked it out at this point, we, we may have the orange again to deal with, and won't that be lovely? It's sad to think that they're both on the same team, and everybody thinks that one of them's going to win. Who? Not us. You know. Got a lot of fun stuff to talk about today, and tomorrow, and the next day. We got daily content. Make sure to share, like, and comment. The more we grow, the more we show, the more you view, the more we do. Don't ask me to describe what that sound was. I don't know. Imagine trying to spell it. I bet you somebody in Brazil is like, I got you. We've actually had fans across the world, many of them robots. Bots, as they like to call them. I don't know where the rowing went. Maybe they don't like the water anymore. Did they ever? This whole podcast is going to be, uh, it's going to be pre-recorded again. We're going live in a little while, though. Even if we have no arrivals, because there's still people out there that can't travel, and I got you, too. You already know. I told you you was going to see a package. Oh, jeez, it's just in a pair of pants. Oh, good God, what are we going to, what's going to happen in here? Original sin? Unoriginal? Which one? <laughs> Find out next on Dragon Ball. What? I don't want to get sued.